To construct a sampling distribution of a proportion, when you're on the stat key homepage, click Proportion. Stat key has a few data sets built into it. The default here is college graduates. This is the proportion of all U.S. adults aged 25 and over who have a college degree. The population proportion here happens to be 0 0.275. We can click Edit Proportion to change the population proportion that we're working with in our simulation. Recall a proportion must be between 0 and 1. Let's say that we want to construct a sampling distribution for a population proportion of 0 0.5. You can see that this changed our original population proportion to 0 0.5. In addition to specifying a population proportion, we must also specify a sample size. This is the number of observations in one sample. The default here is 200. For this example, let's change this to n equals 100. We are set up right now to construct a sampling distribution given a population proportion of 0 0.5 and a sample size of n equals 100. Let's begin by generating one sample. By doing this, we're taking one simple random sample of n equals 100 from a population with a proportion of 0 0.5. Here in our first sample, we can see that there were 55 successes out of 100 trials. This gives us a sample proportion, or p hat, of 0 0.550. In earlier lessons, we learned about sampling variation. So we know that even when our population proportion is 0 0.5, each random sample is not going to be exactly 0 0.5. Let's generate one more random sample. In our second sample, there were 46 successes out of 100. This gives us a sample proportion, or p hat, of 0.46. In the large dot plot here, we can see our two samples are represented by one dot each. The mean of those two samples is 0.505. The standard deviation of those two sample proportions is 0.064. Later we'll see that this is known as the standard error. Now we could repeatedly pull one random sample at a time and look at the sample proportion in each. As we do this, we should see that the sample mean is becoming approximately equal to the population proportion. Stat key also has the option of generating 10, 100, or 1,000 samples at a time. So to speed things up, I'll click Generate 1,000 Samples a few times. Now, with 6,118 random samples, the mean of all of our sample proportions is 0 0.500. This is equal to the population proportion that we started with. The standard deviation of our sample proportions is 0 0.050. This is known as the standard error. To summarize, what we've done here is simulation for a sampling distribution of a proportion. We started with a known population proportion of p equals 0 0.5. We told StatKey that we wanted each sample to be n equals 100. We pulled over 6,000 random samples of 100 observations each. This gave us a distribution of sample proportions with a mean of 0 0.50, which is equal to our population proportion, and a standard deviation of 0 0.050, which is known as the standard error. The standard error could be computed mathematically as the square root of p times 1 minus p over n. If you were to plug in p equals 0 0.50 and n equals 100, you would find a standard error of 0 0.050 which is what we found here in our simulation of the sampling distribution.